Good morning, everyone. Harry Truman once said, if you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. Or as others say, a dog is a man's best friend. Why is a dog a man's best friend? Because they give you unconditional love. But there's one caveat. A dog doesn't ever guide its master, its owner. It always just shows unconditional love regardless of whether the master is doing the right thing or the wrong thing. And what people often say is, I want friends like my dog. Don't tell me what to do. Don't criticize me. Don't point out my mistakes or my flaws. Just accept me for who I am. But as we make our way from the holiday of Pesach to Shavuos, we know that at Mount Sinai and the holiday of Shavuos, we all became mutually responsible for one another. As our rabbis say, Kol Yisrael Arabim Zelazeh, all Jews, are accountable and responsible for each other, which means that if we see someone doing something or acting in a way that's not proper, we have a moral obligation to try to tell the person and correct them. However, it must be done with great sensitivity. And that's why in the beginning of this parsha it says, and more, speak to the Kohanim, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, and Rashi says, why the repetitions, speak to them and say to them, first teach them how to be a Kohen, and then tell them to say to their children or to others how to be proper Kohanim, which means we have all not only a personal obligation to do what is right, but we have a collective responsibility to guide and teach others. However, the word used is lahazir. Lahazir could be mistranslated as warn, rebuke, chastise, admonish those who are doing something wrong. But it doesn't really mean that because there's a much deeper meaning to the word lahazir. The word lahazir is from the word zohar, which means light, illumination. And therefore, when you see someone doing something that's not proper, don't admonish, rebuke, chastise them, but illuminate their lives, enlighten them, teach them. And just like light is full of brilliance and warmth, you must teach someone in a way that you shine light on the subject in a way that they appreciate the illumination because now they could see more clearly like with light and it's done with the radiance of warmth like the light of the sun. And when you correct a person or speak to them in a way that is full of light and warmth, then they will heed your words. There's a story told to Rabbi Arya Levine. Rabbi Arya Levine was a great rabbi in Jerusalem and he was once walking by a store in Jerusalem that was known to stay open on Shabbat. And it was an hour before Shabbat and the rabbi stopped and just was staring at the store watching the customers come in and out. And the owner came over and said, Rabbi, could I help you? And he said, no, I'm just watching. He said, what are you watching? He said, I'm thinking about what a test, what a challenge you have to close your store on Shabbat because you have such a constant flow of customers and if you close your store, you have to give up all that business, all those customers, all those sales. And so I'm just, thinking about what a big challenge you have. And then he wished him Shabbat Shalom and went home. The next week, this man, the shop owner, came to the rabbi and he said, Rabbi, I decided I'm closing my shop on Shabbat from now on. The rabbi said, why? I didn't tell you to close your store. He said, I know. Every other rabbi came and told me, you have to close your store. What you're doing is terrible. It's a desecration of Shabbat, desecration of Hashem's name. It's a sin. They just admonished me and rebuked me. You're the first one who came and instead of judging me, you took time to understand me, to have empathy for me, to understand what my challenge is and my struggle is to give up all this business. And now that I feel understood and appreciated and I understand through your eyes what a great sacrifice it would be and how much it's appreciated, not just by you and others, but by Hashem, now I'm willing to make the right choice and close my store on Shabbat. That's why people always have to be understood before you could help them understand. Always seek to understand others before you make yourself understood. Have a meaningful, beautiful day.